This was a concert that was pushed back again and again due to COVID. So anticipation for this event was pretty high. That means people came down here pretty early, braving the cold temperatures with plenty of stories to share about a band with a long history. Few bands have been rocking and rolling as long as the Rolling Stones. None of us are spring chickens anymore, honey. <laughs> so when they come around, they attract fans of all ages. Like these 11 and 13 year olds. How cool is that? The greatest rock and roll band ever. Their first concert. Yeah. I would love to have been able to say that. Who knows? Maybe one day these two brothers will go to another Rolling Stones show or maybe even more like this guy. This could be 38 or 39. Right. Um, I'm not sure. My first one was in 75 in Toronto. Or even this super fan from London. Uh, nearly 200 every show this tour. Matt Lee keeps a close tab on the band, so when lead singer Mick Jagger goes sightseeing, so does Matt. He's been everywhere. He's out and about in town. Yeah. So I'm going around town. I'm taking photos in the same place he takes photos. It's not just memories he's collecting. Back in the 90s, he started collecting Stone's memorabilia and never stopped. Now I, you know, I have the Guinness World Record collection. I have over 100,000 items. But on this night, rumors are plenty about a possible guest sit-in with Motown connections. Take a look at these photos of music legend Martha Reeves meeting with fellow legends Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. This comes amid speculation she may join the band on stage. The D's got soul. They got soul. This works. <laughs> Regardless of who shows up, the band's success speaks for itself, with fans coming back year after year. The energy is fantastic. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, that's why I'm here. There's a whole community of Rolling Stone collectors, and it's really cool people, and we all bond through the music. It's timeless, and they change. Yeah. And while I was out here outside of Ford Field, I was able to check and there were tickets available up until showtime. Of course, with the name like the Rolling Stones, you can bet it came with a hefty price tag if you were willing to pay. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, has COVID impacted how people approach seeing a concert with tens of thousands of other people? Yeah, it's definitely in the, the foreground of some people's mind and in the back of others. We talked to one person who made the trip from Canada, and as you know, the borders just opened. So it was a little dicey whether he was able to come down from Canada to actually see the show. There was a good amount of people that were wearing masks even outside of the venue. So uh, everybody was keeping um, a good attitude about it, but they also seemed to be taking the right amount of precautions. Yeah, and it's great to see all the generations there and Martha Reeves with the band. That was wonderful. Thanks, Dave.